Hello viewers all over the world. I want to take this opportunity to thank you all for liking, sharing, commenting to my YouTube channel and your help by sharing, liking and commenting has really helped us to grow more followers. And uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank you especially, you know, and for today for the mindful determined mindset will take because um, in our previous episodes we've spoke about the three h to determined mindset and for today we'll not be looking at three h to mindset rather we'll be discussing to what we call the blockers you know in having a determined mindset and for the last episode we discuss about getting rid of negativity and when we say negativity we are talking about um, what can prevent you, the feedback you get, which are not good. The ones that are meant to put you down, the ones that are meant to make you not able to actually um, gain your goal. I can remember long ago while I was going to school, you know, I think I'm going to be sharing my own story. Um, when I was going to school, you know, after I lost my father, um, there was no one to help me push forward. I said no one. Yeah, I was having a church and some members were helping me out. But that didn't make me stop. You know, I keep pressing. Even to university, I keep pressing. I know there are a lot of people whose stories may be worse than mine. You know, you've started something. One way to show that uh, you, can, I, you can be successful in whatever thing you're doing, they are what we call challenges. So these challenges you are facing now, I am telling you, maybe you might want to give up to say, um, why is this happening to me? You know, to say, um, this is too bad. It's high time I give up. It's high time I just stop believing in myself. Keep believing in yourself. Keep pushing. You know, let me take you again to the game of All Else We Live. We love, we've all watched some athletics meets, you know, and the, this is a race wherein the team that wins or the house that wins, this is, is the one because it, it carries the heaviest mark in any sport meet. Have you ever been into any all house relay? Let's say a sports meet and the event there is all house relay wherein different house colors can send in their teams which can work you know as a team maybe they could be a team of four people um, wherein the person starting the race should be able to run so much that they can have a gap between them and their opponent and the individual equally um, completing the race so sometimes i use this one to help people for them to know that um, in life you don't give up easily because by the time you think you it's the hand for you maybe that's the time in which you'll be able to see your destiny so for an all else relay you could see certain team they are in the last position already but there is someone among that team who is well determined to say um, we can't settle for less you know we can say okay all is lost we can say um, we cannot make it up that person can be able to surpass all their opponents. The individual can be the last person, but with his or her determination, can be able to overtake all the other opponents. Sometimes whenever I'm in a sport meet, these are the things I look at. You know, you are in a particular area, in a particular community. You, may, you might want to compare yourself with people. You might want to compare yourself with your friend or your neighbor to say, um, look at this one, things are working well for them. No one thing that everybody has their timeline. And when it is your timeline, that is why you must keep pushing. And in keep pushing in, having a determined mindset, try new things. Yeah? If you are the individual who used to sing, you can also try um, other events like soccer, like baseball, basketball, and so on. You know, because you never know. Maybe these are the areas in which your talent is, and these are the areas in which your calling is. That is why you must learn to try several things, try new things. Because by trying, by practicing, 
maybe you can be able just to go to a stage like somebody who was a presenter and this person was a presenter he used to present serving as, a, as an MC but whenever he presents and becoming an MC what do you do he, he used to crack some jokes some fun and he observed that people like the phone that is cracking, the jokes is giving them more than the MC job. So what he decided to do, he decided to say, okay, if people could like this, why not just commit time to it? So he engaged himself, begin to research, plan himself, practice. And at the end of the day, he became the best comedian. And he's making lots of money. So having a determined mindset, money is good. But if you put it in the center of your picture to say i am doing this specifically to make money i'm not saying to make money is wrong but do it with passion the money is coming and you will actually get that money yeah so i would like to actually indicate uh, my email address maybe you might be viewing from different parts of the world and you want to serve as a blessing to us this program as a way by which you can make us improve more and more I can indicate or include my email address you can see it there please if you see this video like it share so that other people might be benefit again from this thank you very much